the PGA Tour presents the 2006 Ford Championship at Doral. We are live at the Ford Championship at Doral, the traditional first stop of the Southern Swing through Florida. And back at the Blue Monster, the principals in last year's memorable final pair Sunday duel. The defending champion Tiger Woods, the top ranked player in the world, and Phil Mickelson, the fifth ranked player. Both of them off to a good start this afternoon, a year removed from that Sunday showdown. And it is a warm start to the Southern Swing here in South Florida in Miami. The afternoon temperature is soaring into the low 80s. And the South Florida winds, which really put the bite into the monster, very calm today. So this first round has been a chance to post a low number. Large crowds making their way around the monster today and a great field. So far, the lowest on the leaderboard as we bring it to you by Avis. We Try Harder is 24-year-old native of Columbia, Camilo Vijegas, a 7-under 65. Phil Mickelson now. Mark needs to start it. I'd say a half a ball outside the left edge. Hit it a little firmer than Justin's. Has to get within one of the lead. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yep. Very good stroke, held his head very steady. Nice acceleration through, held the finish with the putter. We go over to Tiger Woods, who has hit 10 of 11 fairways today. Take an aim at 14 here. Very comfortable shot to look at there, Roger. This might need to get up just a little. No, it gets to the hole. Beautiful. Now Tiger to get to six under. Pretty straight putt with Tiger's speed. like that and over at 15 tiger from just off the green delicate little chip here Raj there it is <laughs> and here is Mickelson can he get tied for the lead just a few seconds after tiger did over at the sixth here should want to turn just a little left did he hit oh. it firm enough yes he did this is this is eerie now <laughs> With an eight under 64, Woods leads by one over a large group of players, including Mickelson. The Doral Golf Resort and Spa, as it's done for two decades now, kicked off the PGA Tour's trek through Florida yesterday, and so far, like the last two years, the famed Blue Monster has been very tame. Calm breezes on Thursday, a rarity here in South Florida. Led to the lowest first round scoring average ever here at 70.3. So that meant that if the hopes for another Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson Sunday duel at Doral were to come true, both would have to stay well under par in their morning rounds today, and that was the case. We start you off with Tiger Woods, started on the back nine, started with a birdie at the 10th, and then his second here at the short par 416th, the hole he drove last year from just 53 yards, sets up another birdie, and Tiger is at 10 under. And then a Tiger birdie at the 18th has been the most difficult hole so far. No problem for Tiger Woods as he moved it to 11 under. And then Tiger with just 83 yards left at the par for second. That would move him to 13 under. He also birdied the first, so he's at 13 under. He bogeyed the fourth to drop to 12 under, and this is second at the fifth from just 78 yards, just bombing it off the tee. Short yardage is left here. He made another one there. He parred in for a 67, and he's at 13 under. Mickelson, 322 yard drive at the par four par five eighth so this second from 240 yards leaves himself an eight footer for eagle mickelson began one back at tiger he birdied the first par of the next six before this eagle dropped at the eighth to get to 10 under he birdied another par five the tenth to get to 11 under and then just 51 yards here left at the short par 416 for mickelson making it look easy Another birdie there would move him to 12 under, and he was not through yet. At the par 4, 17th, from just 120 yards, Mickelson, who did not win on the West Coast swing, 
Looks like he's got things clicking here in the first two days at Doral. So Mickelson, another birdie there, a 66 for him, and he's tied with Tiger Woods at 13 under. Rich Beam began the day one back, started on the 10th. He was 500 on his round as he played his second at the par 5 eighth here from 243 yards. So Beam sets himself up on the back holler there for an eagle. Just off the mark, Beam would settle for birdie, get to 13 under, but he three putted his final hole of the day, the par three ninth to drop to 12 under. And so Beam is just one back of the duo at the top, Woods and Mickelson, knotted at 13 under. Camilo Bijegas and his second at the fifth. Another huge drive here, and he's got just a short iron uh, little pitch. <laughs> well, there's the story of a lot of par fours here at Doral. Now Vijegas to get to 10 under. Downhill, a little bit right to left. Ahead to seven, where Vijegas has a chance at another birdie. Oh, he's done a beautiful job with this. Not Look at this. Now Vizegas at nine to take a share of the lead. Can you get there? Tied for the lead. So one final look at the first page of this leaderboard. Young 24-year-old Vizegas joins the veterans at the top. standing tradition on the PGA Tour since 1962 and it has signaled the PGA Tour shift to Florida for two decades now and the famed Blue Monster here at the Doral Golf Resort and Spa has been docile the past couple of years and for the first two rounds of this year's championship which provided the lowest cut in the 45 year history of the event but today looking a little more like South Florida the breezes have kicked up adding some more spice to this third round Saturday. And as if it needed any more spice, we bring you up to date on what has been happening with Phil and Tiger. After they both birdie the first, Tiger birdied the second to take the one shot advantage and get himself to 15 under. Then after Mickelson bogey the third, his first bogey of the championship, Mickelson was two behind Tiger as he hit this approach at the par four fifth, Tiger was in the bunker, so Mickelson looking for the opportunity. And with that shot, it looked like it could be a two-shot swing in Mickelson's favor. But Tiger played his explosion shot to this point, calmly made his par four, and cleared the stage for Mickelson to perhaps take a one-shot advantage on the hole. But the missed birdie. And a lip out, a missed opportunity for Mickelson, who remained two behind until just a short time ago. His second from the thick rough at the par four back, six please. from 106 back, yards. Mickelson playing it perfectly. And he would produce another birdie there, his second of the day, and get to 14 under. Out to the eighth, Gary. Bajegas with his third. Pitching up the hill into the green. Easy to leave this short if it's not struck firmly. Oh, well done. So Hill has a nice little uh, four footer there for a birdie. All right, well hauled for him. He moves to 13 under. Driving, he loft in a wedge, running up that bank, up on top. Is it gonna come up? Anything inside 10 feet was a heck of a shot and he's done twice that good. That's right for a share of the lead, Bijegas. Yeah. Calmly rolls it in. So a beautiful third shot set up that birdie to get to 14 under to 12. David Tom's birdie putt, 26 feet, two inches. Chance to take the outright lead. Uphill into the grain. Yeah, not much break. Oh, oh man, <laughs> he just pours in another one. So David Tom's takes the lead. Johnny, we go to 11. Bijegas looking for birdie here to tie Tom's at 15 under. So Bajegas with three birdies in the last four holes whips the 
crowd into a frenzy here that's following him. It's not all about just Woodson Mickelson. Vizegas looking to make his mark in South Florida. We pick up the third round with Tiger Woods on the par 3 13th. This is a six iron Jenny and he is playing a high fade. He is. It's just right of the hole. Well, that's, that's pretty good there. You might get a red dot now, Murph. Wow. To 13. Vijay is second now. After a big drive, Murph just 121 yards right at the hole. <laughs> and does his gallery appreciate it? Talk about a perfectly played hole. Back out to the action at 14. And David Tom's ready for his birdie attempt. Not much break, is there, Bob? No, there's really not. It's really flat around that whole location. Just if you get it close there, you should make it. Speed would be the question there. The green is actually growing into him. So you just have to hit it a little harder. You've got to love this stroke, don't you, Bobby? Puts just like you do. Big, long, smooth stroke. A lot of rhythm. Backed off the putt. He wasn't ready. Knocks it right in the hole. Tied for the lead again. Now to Tiger at 13. Deal here for the second year in a row is Tiger and Phil in the same pairing. Saturday here, Sunday last year. We'll see if they're able to get back into the final group tomorrow, but still plenty of holes left here to determine that. This little deal for Birdie. At 17, this just a moment ago, Dean Wilson second at the 419 yard par four. You want a calm swing? He is one of the guy one of the prettiest swings. Well, around. he's been working with the same guys that Steve Elkington worked with, Andy Plummer and uh, Mike Bennett, and uh, it looks very similar. And now the birdie attempt, chance to get to 14 under par, would be his fifth birdie of the day. Pretty good break here. Yeah, big swing, good speed. Oh yes. Dean Wilson, who's off to his best start ever on the PGA Tour, has already had a couple of top 10 finishes. Moves to within one of the lead. Jagas squinting, lining him up here. Johnny, he has looked a little shaky to me on the short putts ever since the eighth hole. He had about a three footer for par there and barely got it in the left side. Yeah, he played that hole so well. Going with an eight iron mark. What tempo, just back pause, rip. He likes it. He Why likes it. Wouldn't he like it? He nearly drove away with a car. Boy, the gallery's taken to him. He could be the next superstar. When he arrived at Florida, Johnny was only 5'9, 140 pounds. He was one of the shortest hitters on the team. And then he put on 25 pounds of muscle. He is an absolute avid workout fiend. And he has turned himself into a good PGA Tour player right now. And he likes the attention. He really feeds off the fans in this gallery. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, it's so many people from, from, from Colombia, South America, Central America was not expecting that many people. The support has been unbelievable. And they definitely uh, pumped me up and, and, and just, just got me really motivated to, to play some good golf out there. And I'm just having fun. And included in the gallery is mother and father are here. Family friends from South and Central America. And he's using that to his advantage. Sometimes they make you a little mm -hmm. extra nervous, but uh, oh, he loves it. Go to 14. And that's what Phil wants to do. Look down and see his ball in there in just a second. I think you'll read it right, Bob. Well, the mistakes have been made on that left side, Phil's left side. He's due. He and Jim McKay put it together. Looks good. Did he hit it? Did not hit it. Wow. That I wouldn't have guessed. Man, finally read that one perfectly. And what a camera angle we had to see that. Yeah. Good view of why the, the professionals are talking about the greens being so good. That ball just rolled and rolled. Well, they did their work as far as reading went. Tiger next, Roger. Well, this putt uh, certainly doesn't seem 
we have much movement in it. Well, would it be about right center putt, maybe, Marsh? Yeah, there's not much. You're right. Uh, two tigers right. There's a bit of a little mound there, right where he's walking now. That's a mound. You see him going down. So, in fact, the green is a bit higher over there. Well, you make this nine out of ten times, Bob. <laughs> it sure seems that way, doesn't it? What are you saying, Roger? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying he's going to hold it. I mean, there's just not much to it. So, I'd be surprised if he didn't make it. So let's book it, Dano. Great view of very comfortable hands on the putter. For the lead. Just as we suspected. Tiger jumps right up and over Mickelson, Toms, and Vijegas. Some things never change. <laughs> There's a little buzz circling around Doral right now because over at 15, Vijegas, who just knocked it stiff here, has a chance to tie Tiger at the top. Just two and a half feet left here. They just got to get that little gremlin out of his head that just said, hey, you just should have buried the last one against a little one. Don't do it again. And they're watching back in Columbia. Kabila Vijegas' exploits here at Doral. I made a point of it. He said they're watching it. It's, been, it's a rarity to watch a PGA Tour event, have it be televised back in Columbia. Uh, Some of the folks here, Gary, have stayed after watching Vijegas birdie to tie Tiger. But a lot of the gallery is headed with Camilo to the 16th as Tiger puts it down here. 172 yards went helping from the left. Hole cut an extreme left hand portion of the green. There's the double at the ninth, Roger, after the three birdies on the front. Now bang, bang, two more at 13 and 14, and all of a sudden, Tiger's feeling it. Not having a hot round by his standards. Uh, Roger, that's just three under par with that birdie there, birdie in the, really the last couple, huh? Well, it certainly doesn't seem like he's you know done anything special at this point, does it? I mean, he's just kind of cruising on along. Yeah, but. that's 63 on this Saturday a year ago. But he's got some momentum, a phenomenal, almost a half eagle on the par three, the only birdie of the day, and then making the birdie in the last, so watch out. It's an eight iron here. All working just a little bit right of the hole. This is the way to do it. Just a moment ago, Zach Johnson, 136 yards with a nine iron. How does he like it, Gary? Uh, he likes it a lot, Johnny. An eagle, too. He hadn't made a birdie all day. <laughs> Had bogeyed the 13th, and now... Uh, Makes an eagle at 17, so that moves him to 11 under par. Still without a birdie, but he'll settle for that. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Looks like Joaquin Phoenix there on a good one. <laughs> Cashing in. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Well, Tiger's got plenty of wins here in his now home state of Florida. Eight in all. Well, there's so many tournaments in Florida. What, there five, Gary, or something? And... Uh, I mean, the bottom line is six tournaments in Florida and, uh, you know, a Southern boy with that many wins is almost impossible not to have won in Florida. It's pretty surprising that David Toms has not uh, done it yet. He said he grew up on Bermuda grass and is very familiar with it. Although Tiger will be changing zip codes later this year with his new purchase. This for birdie in the outright lead at 17 under. Well, it just keeps getting these putts that are for him are just yum, yum. Maybe inside right edge. Yes, and he walked it in. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Three in a row for Tiger, who has just taken this championship by force right now. Let's go to 17. Tiger Woods ready with his second, just 94 yards. Roger, we know it was a good angle. How about the lie? That's a perfect angle looking right up the green. The green, the lie's not the best, but uh, it's not that bad either from 94 yards. Got a lot of options though, right? I mean, he could actually hit a lower shot and let it release back there. He could do that if he choose, or he could fly it to the hole. Uh, uh, I think he could, getting the ball to spin shouldn't be too much of a problem, but he does have the option to play something lower and let it uh, release back to the hole. Mickelson played his second shot from 115 yards and has about 20 feet or so left for birdie. 
I mean, this was a huge break here. Oh, there's a lot of places that it could have been a lot worse than it is. In the hole! In the hole! In the hole! And he has slided the ball down right of the hole. I don't think he's going to be pleased. I would think not. Tiger Woods, birdie effort from just over 34 feet. Very slow. Well, he got it there. Nice speed. Up to 18. Saw the nice approach by Rich Beam. This to get to 15 under within a couple. It's a very easy putt, straight in almost. Rich Beam stays a part of the Sunday story. Three wins for him. The two that came in 2002. The latest that PGA Championship when he held off Tiger Woods. And Beam is just a couple behind his old nemesis. Back to 17. Mickelson with a, a much needed birdie here, Roger. Indeed, as birdie did uh, both the first and second rounds. This putt. Uh, Say about 18 feet. Should move a little bit to his left. Tough part about the putt. Roger's been hitting it firmly enough. We've seen a lot of players have the line, but uh, just not enough speed. Back into the green. Johnny, he's hit a lot of good putts. Yeah, that didn't do anything until it went past the hole and then it broke left. It's been a while since something good happened to Phil. Taps in, remains at 14 under, three off the lead of Woods, and they take the short walk to the 18th. Only 30% of the field have really been able to hit this fairway. A lot of it has to do with uh, what kind of guts you have looking at that lake left. Last minute, you sort of hang on and block it right. It takes a special guy to be able to fire your right side and put it down the middle. That looks right to me, I yep. don't know. Looks like it is. Looks right to me, too. Way right. Uh oh. And right behind well, that banyan tree. Right behind it. I'm not sure if he's going to get relief because he's far enough up that those two yep. by fours are maybe not in the way. I don't know yep. with his swing. That would be the only way you'd get relief if one of those. Uh, That's going to be. Four by fours that props it up is in the way of your stance or your swing. Or Johnny, if he doesn't hit the ball far enough, he's going to have a tree problem. He's got people in front of him now, too. Well, he's going to go further right than he initially thought. If he, if he hits the ball only 50 or 60 yards, it won't be far enough, and I think he'll have to lay up again. He's just trying to hit it about 80 yards. Yeah, the bottom line is he's sort of making this thing, uh, you know, basically a par five. And uh, well, five would be a really good score right now. Yeah, just don't try to get too much. Hit it almost at that cart there. That's exactly what he did. He got it past the first tree. He's going to have a problem with the second tree now, though, I believe. And there's the tree Mark is talking about. And the corporate tent and the housing or whatever you want to call it. Nobody on the fairway. Nobody on the fairway. So Vizegas in the first fairway in two. 155 yards. To the right. Is there some left? There's five off the right. I can't believe they're talking about actually the whole location right now, Johnny. It sounds, sounds like the yardage the caddy has given him is 155. It's a very difficult, let's put it this way. If this was a par three, it would get your attention, this shot. Well, he got it over the trees. Would it seemed like eternity here at 18 for Bijegas. Back on the T Tiger, finally ready to go. Well, I'll tell you, you know, it's hard to keep the ball down the left side even when you aren't loose, when you are loose, but sitting that long, you tighten up in that left shoulder area, it makes you really hit it right if you don't watch out. It's going right. He should have taken a bunch of practice swings, maybe with two clubs. You see how far right this ball is Headed actually near going. Near that banyan tree again. You know, so that's when you want to maybe swing two clubs 10 or 15 times and loosen that shoulder up. 
Vegas was behind that very tree. It looks like Tiger's on the left side of it. Yeah, they might want to hand out hard hats tomorrow, Raj. If I were standing on the right side of this fairway, I'd take one. Of course, in Phil's case, it could go to the left towards the water if he doesn't watch out. Nicholson has hit four fairways all day. Tiger just six. This sets up perfect for his cut, though. He could aim it down that right side, just peel a little fade. If you can just do it. Now this ball starts down the center, but it is moving right. He's right. It carries back and then settles next to the cart path. Now it's on it and trickling to the right. There's 21 guys out of 72 players hit this fairway. It's tough because you got to handle the choke factor because it's a very visually intimidating hole. And uh, can't say I'd hit the fairway too often here either. I'd be going right myself. So here is Bejegas getting ready for his par putt. Needs to make a par to have a chance at playing in the last group. One you do have to be a little careful with, though, because it comes up and over. The yeah, well, Mark Rolfing's mic, as you can hear, is cutting out a little bit, but this is not the world's toughest putt, that's for sure. Um, from here, it's, there's not much break, actually. You're coming out of a low here. Uh, and um, he's probably trying to find a break, but I'll tell you, this is pretty straight from my, uh, I was out there this morning checking this out. And this is makeable if you can get it to the hole. A little bit slow from there. Not a bogey on his car today, just a double at the fourth. Well, this would be a all South American par. Nope, not going to get there. Not even close. So he's going to drop at least one here back to 15 under. Sort of came up and out of that putt. Uh, been a, you know, when you hit a drive there and all that craziness in the gallery and it takes that long, it really throws your stomach is like just in knots from all that, trying to finish up a round. It's not a, an easy way to just knock it down the middle, knock it 20 feet and two putt. So he'll be at least two behind Tiger as he leaves for the day. Oh, oh. double bogey for Bijegas. Boy, that hurts there, but. Verplank and Bijegas play it plus four. Wow. Right square behind that banyan tree. That's pretty good. Uh, a great disposition to be able to not want to just run and hide. So two double bogeys on Vijegas's card. All the rest pars and birdies. Now Tiger back in the right rough at 18. Yes. And he's hit the ball very, very high. Going just a little bit right of the hole at the right side of the green. Just on the collar, Roger. And from what we've seen here in the last hour at 18, in very good shape. Mickelson now ready from that strip. Roger, what's all that disturbed ground between his uh, stance? What is all that? Well, it's just an area between two cart paths, Johnny, that's just been worn absolutely thin. Uh, almost bare ground completely. There is some grass here, but. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering. It looked like it was all ripped up where his feet are right now. Yeah, Maybe that's bit. from a bunch of uh, swings and checking out the stance. Tough shot. Him, oh, he caught a palm tree. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Stop ball. It's got a little rough there that might hold it up or no. Into the water. That's a bad break there. That could have hung up, but there's only about 36 inches of rough there this year. A lot less than there's been for a long time. Mickelson in the water. Woods just off the green at 18. We're looking at potentially three double bogeys in the final two groups, Johnny. Verplank, Bijegas, Mickelson. But here's Woods for birdie, Roger. And he's not thinking about par, Roger. You're right, Johnny. This is another one of those little chip shots. 
he's got to be thinking about making. Should be good enough to give Tiger a two shot lead over Rich Beam and Daniel Chopra headed into the final round tomorrow. Tiger was 24 under last year on his way to the win, 17 under through three this year. You know, normally he wouldn't have putted that in, but this hole's taken so long. He just wanted to get. He just wants to get this hole finished. I think, Roger. Yeah, I think he would like to get this round finished. Yeah, I think that's why he putted out. He normally would never do that. Tiger posts that 68 with a double bogey at the ninth. Well, just a 68 today was like really a 65 mm -hmm. or six a couple days ago. It was just playing tougher today, wasn't it? It was, and it uh, it didn't take. Wouldn't call this a windy day. It didn't take a lot of change in the wind. Uh, Velocity, but a little more wind, and it started to show a little more teeth. Well, Tiger only hit six out of 14 fairways, also, so it was a tough round, but he hung in there for four under. Not too hard to putt here. Slow, though. He's going to save the bogey. So that'll take Mickelson into Sunday with a little better feeling. Yeah, he's relieved there. Bogey here is not that rare, is it? No, but two bogeys in the final three holes for Mickelson. 72-37 on the back. Tiger Woods has the lead. He's won 33 of the 36 times he's led or been tied going to the final round. He goes for two in a row here at Doral tomorrow. This is the 20th straight but final year Doral Golf Resort and Spa will kick off the Florida or Southern Swing. A World Golf Championship is headed Doral's way next year, but the tradition of the monster will continue. And most of it has been written at the storied 18th, the toughest hole all week. It's 467 yards long with water in play the entire way to the green. It's the final test that all the great champions at Doral have had to pass and it shouldn't be any different today. So Tiger teed off in that final pair just a little more than an hour ago, birdied the first hole, hard two, three, and four, and then from just 78 yards after a 300 plus yard drive at the par four fifth, set himself up for his second birdie of the day, playing with Daniel Chopra, who just has not been able to keep pace. Woods hasn't hit a fairway all day, has hit less than half the fairways for the week, yet records his 22nd birdie of this championship. This was a moment ago, Vijegas second at the par 4 7. He's coming off a birdie at the sixth to get within three, and another fine shot by Vijegas. Vijegas for back to back birdies. Head to eight. David Toms with his third. Good angle from the right hand side, shooting back up the green. And how about those two wedge shots? Now Woods from the rough at seven. Get up. Get up. Get up. Well, it doesn't matter when you can recover and produce shots like that out of the rough. Another one. Three in the first seven holes. Up to the 10th, the third shot for Toms, the closest to Tiger along with Bajegas. You better hope he doesn't catch a little piece of rock between the club face and the ball, which he didn't, but you can see how quick this is going down towards that water. If you make a little boo-boo, there's nothing to stop it. That was nicely done. Toms gets the birdie to move to 18 under, and he's within a couple of woods. Over at 11, David Toms right in the middle of that bunker in the middle of the fairway. Good angle to that flag. He seems to like it. And it just lips in. That's a good break right there. Handles really it good. pretty well. Yeah, that's a good spot to putt from. Got it. All of a sudden, David Toms with his fifth birdie of the day moves within one of Tiger. 
David Toms has been eyeing Tiger for a while now. One back, Bijegas the next best at three back. As we continue our final round coverage of this four championship at Doral. Tiger Woods trying to go back to back here at the Monster. To the 11th. And Tiger checking out the win there for his second. Uh, do you think he knows, uh, Roger, that he's just one ahead now of Tom's or has no idea at this point? I don't think he has any idea at this point, John. There hasn't been a scoreboard. There's been no way he could have seen. You can see his interlocking grip all of Jack Nicholas. He's copied Jack Nicholas in a lot of areas. In fact, he's copied a lot of the legends of the past in different fall through positions. Chi Chi, Seve, just uh, stingers, a lot of different things he's uh, picked up from the greats of the past, which is great to see. 164 to the hole here. He's got a little seven here. That was a nice firm shot. Neutral swing. A little bit left of the hole. He leaves himself an easy straight putt. And at the 12. Jagas with his third. 139 yards to this back center hole location. Johnny, this hole location has given the players some problems. Uh, the hole actually playing over par today. That's amazing, huh? Yeah, that's Good a beauty shot. there, though, yeah. It was a very nice putt. It's an over to 13. And just a moment ago, Lucas Glover from the far left-hand side of the green up and over the mound. I've never seen the hole location on top of this mound. Neither has Lucas, but he figured it out. We're at the par there we go, Gary. And there's... <laughs> it's like Jack Palance at the Academy Award. Well, uh, I know one thing. you got to be 24 <laughs> to do that. <laughs> you don't see that on the Champions Tour, Dan. Well, when you, you first played golf with Vijegas years ago when he, he wasn't near as muscular or physically developed as he is now, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, we have a function called Gator Golf Day up in Gainesville where uh, they bring back some of the former players to uh, meet some of the new players that are just coming in there and bring some alumni in to help raise some money. And, uh, Buddy Alexander paired me with uh, Camille when he was a freshman, and I promise you his uh, biceps were about maybe a third of the size of what they are now. <laughs> and he didn't hit it anywhere. No, did he? he didn't. He was very straight, and he had a great short game. Uh, I mean, you could just sense, though, in, uh, when I had a chance to play with him, that he was going to be something special. All right, for Birdie to get to 18 under within two. And Dan, you mentioned that uh, the putting has kind of been his nemesis the last couple of years, uh, especially last year on the Nationwide Tour. He had a chance to win, you know, two or three times, and uh, it seemed like, especially in the latter rounds, it was uh, short putting that was really the problem. And uh, earlier, playing his third shot here at the par five from 84 yards, David Toms, man ranked in the top 20 in the birdieing par five percentage on the tour last year. Not a long hitter. He does it just like that with good wedge play and good putts. David Toms feels right at home because he used to come to Doral with his family when he was a teenager. When I was down here as a kid playing, I always looked forward to, you know, being here as a professional and it took me a long time, but uh, you know, finally, you know, each and every year I come here to play, and I think back of those memories how I used to get in a golf cart and play 54 holes a day, and uh, you know, when it was a lot more fun. You know, it wasn't uh, wasn't necessarily a job, and um, but now, you know, I really do. I look forward to coming back here. I have a lot of fond memories of this place, and uh, obviously the history of the Blue Monster is uh, incredible. All the guys that have won here, and uh, I just like uh, coming here to play. Well, he's not going to like that putt. Well, from there we go to 13. And Vijegas now, 238 yards straight down win. Well, that was a lash, huh, Bob? Location just inside that right bunker. There you see five iron. And it's short. Ooh, that's 10 feet short or so. Over to 12. Tiger Woods with his second shot. And uh, Roger, he's got the big stick out, got the three wood out.
move ahead to 13. And Vajegas for his par now. Twelfth green, the 603 yard par five that Tiger Woods has reached into. Oh, boy, what a wonderful putt. Beautiful speed there, Roger. They head to 15. Birdie did Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And into a tie for fourth, Jakobsen goes at 15 under. Twelfth, Tiger with this short putt for yet another birdie. All right. Birdie at the 12th moves to 22 under and uh, the lead back to three. And over at 14, the Jagas second shot. Two beautiful drives. Tag ridings and Camillo. Location back left as far back left as I've ever seen it. Ahead to the green and Vizekas for birdie. Good birdie opportunity, takes advantage of it. But you could roll him like Camilo, couldn't you? Oh boy. <laughs> Slides to 18 under, four shots back. Well, can a young man do it? Let's go to 16. Where David Toms faces a must make putt for birdie. There it is. All right. So Tom's won't quit. That moves him to 20 under par. And uh, Johnny with that 18th hole looming. <laughs> yeah, if he could finish birdie par, he's got yeah, a shot at it. I would think so. 17. Jagas is second from 123 yards after a huge drive. Boy, that sounded crisp. He likes it. He's watching it intently. Look at this off the flag stick. What a shot. Wow. So he's got a kick in birdie and a chance to get to 19 under and who knows if he could birdie 18. A gimme I think Johnny's pretty safe to say he doesn't have to get into that push up position for that. One, That's does he, exactly Gary? right. Nice birdie three there. Great second shot almost hold it. Up to 18. Fifth in driving distance this year on the PGA Tour and this one is headed right again. There's that big tree that he got behind yesterday. There's a crowd around it now. I think it might have ricocheted off of, off of someone, which might have been a good break, but I'm not sure. And back at the par 4 17th, David Toms with yet another must make, I would say, Mark. Not firm enough. It's not firm enough. He had the perfect line. Yes, he did. And we go to 18. Now, this was a moment ago, Mickelson's third shot. Remember, he hit it in the water yesterday. Made a long putt for bogey. How about a little just, oh. So he's going to save par today. Many of the folks in the gallery today were here last year on this final Sunday when his near miss chip at the final hole. Second for Bajegas at 18, not blocked by the tree like he was yesterday. Get a Very dangerous shot, though. Asking it to get down. And it does. What a shot. That's a great golf shot. How about Vijegas with that shot? Just about cements solo third here because the next closest is Jakobsen, who's in at 15 under. And back to 17. Tiger Woods second, just 115 yards, 322 yard drive today. The hole playing 437 with the hole back, the second longest drive of the day. This is birdie time. Slided the ball down low. Good looking shot here. Oops. Oh, it didn't spin. Yeah, he shocked so much. <laughs> this was the nice rousing reception that Camilo Vijegas got just a moment ago as he headed up to the 18th. But you get the feeling that his life is about to change big time this year on the PGA Tour. I agree with that. Maybe just a little bit of left to right on this. No, 
not much, though. Gallery is just ready to erupt there for him. He's going to settle for par and finish at 19 under solo third. Let's go back to 17. Tiger Woods third. Roger, the lie appears to be okay. Oh, it's very, very good, Gary. A little delicate chip is going to land this ball just on or maybe even just in the fringe, depending on the trajectory he tries to hit it. Oh, that came out a little harder than he wanted it to. Now, Tiger to save par. Oh, that stroke. That was not a good stroke. Blade was open. That ball was right all the way. So the lead now just one as we go to 18. And here is Tom's on the way with an important second here from 194. He's looking a little right. See if it's in that bunker or inside of it. It's inside of it. Pretty good shot from there. Long putt though. So here he is in the tee at 18. He went right of the fairway yesterday, was able to get his par. Well, this ball starts down the left center of the fairway, but it is cutting right. I don't know if we'll stay in the fairway on that line. In the rough, Roger. Not a bad shot, though, and a great angle to come into this back left hole location. So I would say that was really a good drive. It doesn't, you wouldn't think it on paper, but that was a good drive with a one shot lead. And Tom's has a birdie look here, although it's a long way away. Dan, he is fully aware that Tiger bogeyed 17. And he did see him drive it in the rough here. It's got plenty of speed. I misread it. That was really not a good putt. In fact, that was a horrendous putt. Misread it by three feet, maybe four feet. That's a big breaker there. But this is Tom's for par to stay at that 20 under number. And as you said, Johnny, give Tiger a little bit something more to think about. He has not three putted this entire week. Just what he didn't want to do. That's so as his caddy would say, just lag it down there and make your two putt par and put the pressure on Tiger. Yep, so a bogey five will get it done for Tiger Woods. As Toms drops into that tie for second now with Bijegas. It's a good round by Toms, but just another typical finish uh, PGA Tour versus Tiger where they just at the end just can't deliver. So here we are, Tiger Woods on the cusp of his 48th PGA Tour victory, working from the rough here. Well, he's got 170 yards left of the whole ball sitting down a little bit, so he's got to watch out for a jumper. But with uh, Tom's miss now, he can just blast it into the grandstands if he wants to over the green now, John. Yeah, I think he'll play it back in his stance and get ahead of it a little bit, which will eliminate the water and uh, maybe turn it down a little bit, try to trap it in there and just hit some. Nothing pretty, just over on the right side on the right, just inside the bunker line. That's probably what he's going to try to do, just inside that bunker. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Well, it's going at the bunker on the right. Again, he can bogey and still win, but that'll be an interesting stance there. That goes back to that Tom's putt. Uh, if it just would have cozied it down there, the big pressure would have been on Tiger. I'm not sure uh, what he'd have done out of that flyer lie. It wouldn't have been a guarantee, though. This wouldn't be a playoff. You can see he's not really thrilled with himself right now. He made that bogey at 17. He's put himself in a little bit of a tough spot here. That's got to get going. All right, a two putt from there. I know he wasn't going to hit it thin. <laughs> With the water behind. Yeah, I figured he'd hit that little chunk and run. Just make sure he chunk it just on and get out of here with a probably a, a bogey and win by one, Roger. It's 
going to be another win for Tiger at Doral. A bogey five is enough to get it done for the second straight year. He's now won the same PGA Tour event in consecutive years now 13 times. And there's my car, Steve Williams says. He's already got one parked in his garage in Portland, Oregon. How many do you need? <laughs> Let's go down to Roger. What was going through your mind when you saw David Towns miss that putt? You sure made that second shot a little easier out of that rough, didn't it? Well, I just had him anywhere inside the bleachers, and I'm fine. So uh, putting the grandstand long, putting the bunker right, putting the grandstand right, doesn't matter, just as long as I can make bogey. Well, I know it wasn't the way you necessarily wanted to win, but a W's a W. A W's a W, baby. Good luck. Thank you. Good Finishing second to Tiger by a shot, that bogey by... Times at 18 really cost him his only bogey of the day. So Tiger wins another one. How about Camilo Villegas in that tie for second? $484,000 for the young 24-year-old who made quite an impression here at Doral. So for our entire NBC golf crew, I'm Dan Hicks saying so long from the Blue Monster, tamed once again by Tiger Woods.